Okay. As such, 57-year-old Jamila Katawaro was left with the burden of looking after these grandchildren. She has to fend for them daily, despite her poor health and advancing age. Her only source of food and income is cultivation. Untoroko district is grappling with prolonged drought, which has left many gardens, including Katabaro's, dry. Food is hard to come by, and the family doesn't know where their next meal will come from. As she struggles to fend for her family, Katabaro also needs to mind about her failing health. Because she's living with HIV, Katabaro needs to eat adequate food to support her medication, but the food is not there. A balanced diet is highly recommended for people taking antiretroviral drugs, ARVs. But this is a tall order for the 57-year-old since she cannot even afford the regular three meals a day. She has now abandoned the medicine, thereby putting her health in a more precarious state. Officials in the Ntoroko District Health Department told NTV that about 1,600 people living with HIV desperately need food but can't have it, which weakens them further. They are already HIV positive. They are not having the three meals, uh, or the, the, the expected meals. Because they are not having enough food, the immunity also lowers. Because they are under what? They are on medication. They are getting the medication. Officials say 65% of the population in Toroko cannot afford three meals a day. The people hardly, hardly get lunch. They only take sub, some few individuals. But even if you can look see the, the meal they eat, only the cassava for hours, or why you call it a watery bean, as you can see, the sauce they cook, you can really cry. As these people endeavor to plant in the hope that the rains will fall soon, others who received seedlings cannot wait for the rains.